Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Tremaine. Today we're going to be talking about your spoilers for the week of February 21st for your favorite soaps. But first, if you haven't done so, please take a minute to subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Please hit that like button so YouTube knows a good channel for soap fans. And give our membership a try where you get early access to videos, exclusive videos, spoilers sometimes up to two weeks in advance. And you get articles throughout the week letting you know what's going on in the soap world. And, you know, a lot of a lot of different stuff. My cooking videos and stuff like that. So go on ahead and give the membership a try. We'd love to have you. See if you like it and stick around. You also get a shout out. Only in this weekly spoiler video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly. For Michael Pryor, Phyllis Pierce, Ramona Newsom, Ariane Enos, Gwen Marie, Kiki Landry, Roger Smith, Artemis Hill, Marlon Finn, Ravie Carter, Sim Slims, Josh Hirsch, Cheryl Beecher, Heather Kite, Jay Ponza, Dual Devoted Couples, Rose Garden Design, Hattie R. Lord, Demi Sun, Scotty Hall, DD, Omar, Janet Loftus, Apple Chick, Jenny Adams, BBW Women, Sandra Crawford, and Red Butterfly 50 Irish. Thank you all for being part of the membership. Um, and now we're going to move on. And let you know what's going on in your favorite soap for the week of February 21st. And now here are your spoilers, finally, for Days of Our Lives for the week of the 21st. Now, if you were part of the membership, you would have gotten this two weeks ago. But now, you know, because they also have the week of the 28th, too. So it's good to be a member. Um, but in the meantime, for you, it's good to be a subscriber or someone who just visits my channel on a regular. regular. Um, because you're now about to get the news on Monday, February 21st. EJ gets a stunning new cellmate. Ab well, and the cellmate is Clyde. Uh, Abigail turns the tables on Kristen. And what it doesn't say is Abigail actually um, puts something in Kristen's drink and knocks her out. Sarah decides to take action. Steve and Kayla attempt to escape. Then on Tuesday, February 22nd. Kayla and Steve have a strange encounter with Sarah. Jack demands answers from Gwen. Tony provides a promising lead to Chad. And EJ and Clyde have an uneasy reunion. Now, I don't know if it's in here yet, but um, there's more going on with Sarah. Um, she actually doesn't think that she's Sarah. So let me go and pull this up really quickly. Um, I have to go to the membership section because I sent this to the members. Um, Sarah thinks that she is Renee Dumond. I have no idea who Ray De <laughs> Renee Dumond is. But Abigail gains access to the locked wing of the house where Sarah is being held. But when she and Kristen make their way to Sarah's room, she is not there. Kristen is shocked and not happy at all that Sarah is gone. Assesses her portrayer, Stacey Haydock. Also, Sarah is not well. So Kristen has to make sure she's safe and taken care of, and Kristen has been taking care of her. Um, the tur she turns um, turns out Sarah was wandering off and found Steve and Kayla in the bunker. Uh, while the pair is relieved to be united, reunited with Sarah, they quickly realize something is off regarding her memory. Kayla surmises that Sarah must have had some kind of a mental breakdown and has selective amnesia. Then Sarah stuns the couple by declaring her love for Tony Demera and announcing that she is Renee Dumond. Meanwhile, Abigail gets Kristen to admit that Sarah is on the island. Kristen then explains that she has she was forced to make Sarah disappear after Sarah discovered Kristen was masquerading as Susan. Uh, Kristen wants to set the record straight. She's telling um, Abigail her side of the story, what actually happened, and she's absolutely had no choice in the matter. As usual, Kristen is not feeling any remorse. Absolutely not, insists her portrayer. She wishes she didn't have to do it, but she did. Her hand was being forced again. Kristen explains that she drugged Sarah and Abigail, realizes that the syringe Kristen used was the one that uh, she threatened Gwen with in the secret room at the Demir Mansion. Abigail asks about Sarah's mental state, and Kristen fills her in, knowing that Sarah is better now, but has moved on from Xander. The drug that Abigail left behind happened to have some kind of delusional side effects. Uh, so Sarah truly is truly not herself anymore. Chris explains that she had to help Sarah through this time and give her a wonderful diary to read. Is Renee Dumont's diary. Sarah reads into it. However, she needs to read into it. That becomes her journey. But it wasn't Kristen's fault. Right now, Sarah's definitely not Sarah.
So this is a hell of a way to give someone a, a multiple personality disorder. In fact, Sarah continues to insist that she's the late Renee to Steve and Kayla, recalling the highs and low points of her life. Steve, Kayla, and Sarah leave the bunker and head to the island mansion just as Kristen prepares to search for Sarah. As fate will have it, the foursome come face to face. Kristen doesn't like it, the fact that Steve and Kayla have persuaded Sarah to go along with them. Uh, she wants to separate them, it turns out, it turns into a little bit of a mess. She has to find a way to keep everyone separate but together on the island, keep everything under control because she doesn't want anybody else to come onto the island or go back to prison. So now I've given you the full scoop on what's going to be happening with Sarah starting on Tuesday when Kaylin and Steve have that strange encounter with her. Jack demands answers from Gwen. Tony provides a promising lead for Chad, EJ, and Clyde have an uneasy reunion. Wednesday, Kayla and Steve are stunned by Sarah's story. Eli returns home and Lonnie confides in him about TR. Paulina seeks Abe's help to protect Lonnie. Anna makes a pitch to TR. Then on the 24th, the gloves come off when Rafe and Nicole confront Ava. Johnny continues to drive a wedge between Gabby and Jake. Nancy turns to Marlena for advice, and Chloe asks Brady for a favor. Now, I do have more insight on um, the Rafe, Nicole, and Ava confrontation. Um, and that's why it's good to be a member. Um, basically, they're actually going to admit the truth that they did have an affair and that they're together, and Ava's going to pretend like this is the first time she, she's hearing about it because she's Ava. Uh, then Friday the 25th, Julie, Ben, and Sierra wonder if the devil is still in Salem. Gabby deceives Jake. Tripp shares with Chanel that he's planning to propose to Allie tonight. Nicole resorts to desperate measures to clear Rafe. So that is what's going on in Salem <clears throat> for the week of the 21st. And I will see you in the next video.